I was the I was the fourth person in Australia to get approval. So back in 2016, I think it was. I've got um, although they used to call them ground mal seizures, um, and I was having them on a regular basis. Um, when I'd have them, they'd um, have to put me into medical induced comas for up to two weeks, and I'd just be laying in hospital. Um, and it got to the point where the neurologist at um, Flinders Medical Centre, Professor Burns, because um, I've always been upfront and honest with all my doctors, and I told him about um, the occasional cannabis use I was doing back then, which was very little. Um, and he pulled me aside and said that he told me to smoke as much cannabis as I could every day. And um, that's what I did 20 years ago. And since I've done that, um, I used to take 13 tablets every day. Um, I haven't taken any tablets for 20 years and I've been completely seizure free. And that's my journey. I've been ousted by my family for being a drug addict. Um, I've lost a lot of friends over it. And no one believed me, basically. And um, I've got letters from a neurologist, Andrew Lees in Adelaide. Um, he wasn't prepared to tell me to change doing what I was doing because at the time I approached a neurologist for a letter of support because I got busted growing. And... Um, Anyway, yeah, I got a very little fine and that that was in Adelaide and then I got busted on Magnetic Island in Queensland and I got um, Professor um, Craig Costello, who's a neurologist, and he basically said the same thing. He's not prepared to change anything and if I was to ha start having seizures again, he wants to do a frontal lobotomy on me. So I've got nobody that's prepared to um, take responsibility of telling me to slow down, cut down or change anything. So I've just been left to my own devices and um, fucking I've had no support, help, guidance, nothing. Absolutely fucking zero. And I mean zero. I just followed my nose and I only consumed pot that I was really attracted to, the smell, and that's what saved my life. I've never had a seizure since. So I don't know if I'm doing the right thing or wrong thing, but here I am. But that's it, mate, you know. Yeah, the, the government is, is completely wrong about their approach on this. The, the, the best person to pick what they should be consuming is the patient because everything in life, mate, you're attracted to by the look, the, the smell and the taste. And it's no different to cannabis and you obviously crave a certain type of smell, a uh, turpin profile which is also connected to the cannabinoid profile, which is also connected to the stone and the feeling. Now, I can smell pot and I can tell if I consume pot, if it's a certain straight lines of pot, I know that if I consume it, I'll be back having seizures again. So the government needs to let the patients pick the cultivars and, um, yeah, You'll have a hundred percent success and not just twenty or thirty or fifty or seventy.
that's, that's the only way it can be done. And that's how they do it in America. The, the patient goes into the dispensaries and picks it himself. I'd be dead, mate, if I didn't. I would have died 20 years ago. It should have been your first line of call. Without a doubt. Every mammal on the planet, mate, needs to consume cannabis. 